Megan Olivia here with Igor Pokrayets. He just taught me how to say his name correctly. Is that right? Yeah, Pokrayets. All right. Now, you had the crazy knockout victory over Krzysztof Szczynski very early in the first round here at UFC 140. You were the three-to-one underdog. Yeah. How great does it feel to get the victory tonight, especially because he's Canadian? It was 3-2. So oh, wow. All right. 3-2, and now it's 3-3. Three, three. You know, I expect that um, the crowd is going to be behind Szczynski and uh, that I'm going to get a lot of boos and a lot of bad words and... Uh, I was expecting that. I was, you know, just pumped up on the fight and um, just waiting him to get in and to finish the fight as soon as possible. Does it bother you at all when the crowd's not behind you? You know, that's that's the thing in the sports. You know, sometimes they are behind you, sometimes not. You know, but uh, I expected uh, after the win, they're just gonna, you know, congrats me with the, uh, I don't know, with a clap or with something. But you know, even after the fight when I won, you know, they boo and uh, whistle and everything. Oh really? We didn't we didn't hear that in in here in the media room. I didn't know that was the reaction. I'm here you now to uh, entertain the fans, and uh, I gave them what the UFC really is. You know, as like you said, as real as it gets. Yeah, that was an incredible uh, knockout there because you actually went. It looked like be right between his hands as he has his hands up defending himself. You went right between there. Did you know once that shot landed that that was the one that was going to knock him down? I saw I saw that he was rocked, and uh, as soon as he as he put his hand up. I know that he's rocked and I finished, you know, I went for the kill. As then he fall down and uh, I had only my right hand to punch and I was punching and Levine stopped the fight on the time. Did, did you think it should have been stopped sooner? Because some people were saying they, they would have been okay with a stoppage a little bit earlier in the fight. No, uh, judges are here to stop the fights, not the public, not the fans, not me. So uh, judges always finish the fight on the on time. When you were training for this fight, what was your main concern about Kristoff? Because he's a really talented fighter, he's got great cardio and conditioning, and he also has really powerful hands. But what was your main concern for him? Uh, for me, con concern for him, he, uh, he's a good wrestler, and who's conditioned. That's the only thing that, that was uh, you know, on my mind and my concern. All right, well, you got the big win tonight. Anyone you would like to face after this? Uh, like I said, you know, any of ex-UFC champions or any, any fighter that UFC put in front of me, I will fight. All right, congratulations.